Hi everyone! You may notice that it's Christmas time and I don't have a Christmas tree up. It's because life is too crazy and I made the executive decision we are not putting it up. I said we're going up north so often. When we're down here, at, we call it our have-to house because we always have to do things. Uh, we just aren't home. We're working all the time. And I said it's crazy to put this up after the construction finish, which was basically around Thanksgiving, when we're up north all the time and we can't put anything up up there because it's under construction. So I said, I love Christmas. I love Christmas trees. I love the decorations, but I want less stress and I just don't have time to do it. So we skipped it. So instead you get me bundled up looking Christmassy with the fire. <laughs> so I wanted to do some empties and I'm gonna skip through the first part and I'm gonna talk a little bit at the end of this about my use up and also some future videos and I'd love if you leave me ideas of what you enjoy. So the first is my Revlon Color Stay. I do a mixture usually of 04 and then a 71 or whatever other color, 70s or 80s, not ash that I want to be, and I'm very happy. I learned my lesson. I'm not gonna experiment anymore. My contact lenses, I get these from my optometrist at Sam's Club. They're a great price. I wasn't wearing contacts for a long time when I had my Sjogren's. My eyes were too dry, and then I got out of the habit of it. I realized how blind I am. <laughs> I need my contacts, and I love wearing them again. A few quick personal items. Thyroid, get yours checked. I get mine adjusted probably every year, every two years, and it frequently why either my weight or my sleep is off. Once I get it adjusted, everything goes back to being good. I know I promised you a hormone video. This is a form of estrogen, and we're told so often how everybody is low on estrogen, especially if you're over 50. I had zero estrogen. When I started on this again, it made a world of difference. And I will try to remember to do a video on that. <laughs> Life is crazy right now. My super glue, this is the key to using the Kiss glue on nails. I throw out the glue that comes with them. This means my nails last for probably two weeks usually. Definitely swear by this. I get them two for a dollar at the dollar store. Speaking of videos, I owe you a skincare video of how I'm using up more of my skincare. I know I need to do that. This is the Andalou Night Cream. It was nice. It wasn't anything amazing. I much prefer, and I can't think of the name of it, but I'll insert a picture and link it below that my mom used to use in France. And I love that stuff. It's very thick. It seals all of my other skincare in and I feel hydrated when I use that. With this, it disappears and even within an hour, I can feel like before I go to bed, I need to put on something else. So no, I would not repurchase. And this uh, Physician's Formula Bright Booster Oil, it was nice, but Nothing amazing. I prefer mixing my own oils, which I love doing. And speaking of which, this is the rose hip seed oil. This is something that I usually put into my mixture. It's more expensive if you, if you buy it anywhere else except for Garden of Wisdom. Uh, same with all the other oils that I've seen people talking about. If you like any oils, check out Garden of Wisdom. If I can find it, I might have a discount code that I'll put below and I don't get anything for it. I phoned them up and that I wanted you to have it. It's a really nice little company in Arizona and I like supporting small companies and maybe one day I'll go there and do a vlog there. And then I went through my cotton rounds and my Swispers and I told you that as soon as I use these up, I'm gonna go with the make-off pads. I like those better than the big make-off wet rag that you get because there's 14 of them and you just wash them. You can use a different one, you know, every morning, every night and it's super easy versus having to buy 14 of the big claws and those are really cheap and they also plant a tree for you for every order and i'll link those below this is a narcisco rodriguez for her i have a full size i like it but boy it is a heavy perfume i prefer and mark prefers more flowery lighter perfumes but it's one that i do like i just cannot wear it to work i have to be careful where i wear it 
I've used up some makeup and I'm really excited about it. So first, this is a um, throwaway, a master drama eye studio pen. It just does not draw properly. You know, it's like very hard and sketchy to get it. And it breaks apparently on your couch, which is not good. <laughs> what I much prefer is this e.l.f. pen and I used this up till it was completely dry. I got a lot of use out of this and I would definitely repurchase. This is the H2O pen, but I've heard a lot of them are really good. The Kiss Lash Adhesive, I really love this for doing your strip lashes. I always wear the half lashes just on the outside and underneath, but this dries up very quickly. If you use the tube, it's hard to get out just the right amount unless you're really careful. So this is easier to apply, but it really dries up fast. And then the last few items are use-ups for my year. I didn't do a makeup use-up, I don't think, in Q3 because of our construction. And I'm not really back 100% into the swing of videos, but I am very focused on using up. This is my Flower Beauty Cream Blush. I loved it, I enjoyed it, and it's gone. And I'm moving on to doing more use-ups of different cream blushes. And I have one down here and one up north. Doesn't mean I'm gonna use them up twice as fast. <laughs> it beats half as fast, but I'm still focused on just using up, especially on the base products. The only thing I rotate is my lips and my eyeshadow. My Heart Candy Glamouflage Foundation, I really loved this in the beginning. As it went on, it felt thicker, it accentuated my pores, and it oxidized, and it very strongly went orange. Not Oompa Loompa, but almost and I would not repurchase because of that. I really, really like my Maybelline Superstay. It's probably my favorite. Mix in a tiny bit of Smashbox. Oh my goodness, the 24-hour one, you've got heaven. The combination of those two is amazing. I really like my Wet n Wild as well. So there's a lot of great drugstore ones. This is not one that I would repurchase, unfortunately. I am letting go, and I don't want this to fall on my couch, my eyeshadow, this was the Maybelline, and what I loved the most was this um, brow bone highlight right there. <laughs> it's gone. The other two I've almost used up, and it's time to let them go. I would not repurchase because I like using either gel or the brow pencil. I think it's faster. And for this, I have a lot of eyeshadows that I can use just a tiny bit, or what Kathy's Beauty Care Chats told me was, Powder. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Just a, a good translucent powder is a good brightening under the eyebrow. And I always have a translucent powder with me, so that's a great suggestion. And then finally, my Maybelline Age Rewind. I vary between getting the neutralizer, the brightener, or the fair. The neutralizer is just a little too dark, the brightener's a little too pink, and the fair has a little too much grayish tones in it. But if I could mix them all, it would be heaven. The coverage is perfection. So I am still very much focused on use-ups and I'm wondering what videos you would like from me. I'm probably gonna continue doing vlogs, especially as we have things to show with our new house that we're loving and our renovations. I'm wondering if you want more makeup, more tutorials, more how I shop my stash. What would you like to see from me? And I love, you know, cooking, whatever it is that you're interested in, leave it below. And thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I hope you have a fabulous holidays. I don't know what my schedule will be like, but I'll definitely say happy holidays, no matter what it is you celebrate. And Merry Christmas, if you do celebrate Christmas like I do. Thank you again, and I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.